We're back with the screen team. Thank you for joining us. We love to give you our thoughts on movie reviews. You know, we do a whole lot of different things here. We review movies that uh, have been around, you know, quite a lot while, a lot of classics, a lot of a lot of movies that uh, you might not be familiar with. We do a lot of new movies on DVD and movies in the theater. We like to mix it up a lot. We like to do a lot of theme shows. And with this particular show, we are doing comic book movies. And the next film we're going to be doing is a film that came out in 2005. It's called Constantine, a supernatural detective helps a policewoman prove her sister's death was not a suicide, but a little something more. Like I said, it came out in 05. It stars Keanu Reeves, Rachel Wise, and I uh, can never pronounce this guy's name, but Damon Hansu, I think is his name. Uh, Michael? Something you, like that, yeah. Michael, you picked this film. Um, what are your thoughts, dude? Uh, I like this film as well. Um, I think it's got... I, I like the whole angel and demon concept of it, and plus I love Keanu Reeves, so what could go wrong? Yeah, it's it's a cool film, and it's a cool concept. You know, most comic book movies are, you know, you're thinking you've got this supernatural hero taking on a, a supernatural alien or, or something like that, and this one feels just a little, I mean, we, we have the same kind of components in this one, but this one feels a little different because it's... Um, you know, it's like angels versus, you know, devils and stuff like that. It just seems more, I, I, I hate to use this word, but it seems more realistic to me than, you know, um, fighting aliens and stuff like that. You know, um, what did right, you, th- yeah, what, you, you think of, of Keanu Reeves? Did you did you enjoy his performance in this, in this role? I did, yeah. Um, this is one of those um, rare moments when I wouldn't have, I definitely wouldn't have picked Keanu Reeves to play John Constantine, yeah, because he has a completely different look in the comics than he did in the movie. But he still did a fantastic job, I thought, as far as the acting goes. That I think, yeah, he was a good choice for the role. And Rachel Wise, what'd you think of her? Uh, yeah, I thought she was fine. Um, <laughs> I, I don't, I, I don't believe that, Mike. I mean, what, what do you think, man? Uh, well, I think he probably could have put any anyone in that role. Um, I'm not the biggest Rachel Wise fan. Yeah. Um, most because most because the first thing I saw her in or heard her in was the Aragon movie, and that movie completely sucked. So it kind of ruined my image of Rachel Wise forever. Yeah. But you know, I think I think for the for what she was given, I thought she did fine. This one uh, this one threw me for a loop, Mike. But I'm watching the film, hadn't seen it before. All of a sudden, I see this. Uh... I see this character named uh, Balthazar, and I'm looking at him, and I'm like, that looks like Gavin Rosdale of Bush. That looks exactly like him, and I keep looking at him, looking at him, and then I see the IMDb page after I finish watching it, and it's Gavin Rosdale from Bush. Did you did you notice that the first time you saw this movie? No, I have I, I have no idea who that is. You have no idea who Gavin Rosdale of Bush is? You know, you know. No, I'm looking at his, I'm looking at his picture right now, and I'm like, I don't, I. Do you, I, all right, I all right. Time, time out. Anything, all right, so. <laughs> time out. Time out, Michael. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. We're gonna we're gonna put this movie aside here, and we're gonna ask you: <laughs> Do you know the band Bush, Machine Head, um, Greedy Fly? Yeah, I know Machine Head, but I've I've never listened to. I mean, I may have heard things from Bush <sighs> without knowing that it's Bush, but eh. Um, he was married to to Gwen Stefani. Oh wow! Really. I, I yeah, we're, Michael, remember, I was I was just born in ninety six. Michael, so. Michael, we we are we are after this interview's done. You and I we're we're dropping some knowledge on some Bush. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you MP3s of Bush, and you are going to spend the weekend, the rest of this weekend, uh, listening to Bush, and then uh, writing a report on that. All right. Oh joy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we've got some some dark, some heavy topics in this film. We've got angels, we've got demons. Is this a is this a um, a dark film? As far as can can kids watch this film? Um, well, I think it's just rated PG thirteen. So if, um, if, if kids can watch it, as far as if there's like adult, you know, like sexual stuff, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I think it's fine. But it's definitely a dark movie. It, the, the source material, the comics are dark too. It's got, yeah, like you said, demons and angels, but also, like, themes of, like, suicide and things like that. Right. So it may be a little bit too uh, mature for kids, uh, for young kids to understand at mm-hmm. first, but uh, it's definitely got some action and stuff that may keep them entertained um, as far as that goes. But as far as really 
getting into this movie and enjoying it for all that it has. Um, I think you need to be a little bit older to understand it. But, um, yeah. All right. Uh, same question uh, as I did with the uh, previous review. Is this a movie you want to uh, continue to watch down uh, down the line? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think it's a, it's a classic as far as comic book, comic book, comic book movies go. Um, and also, it's the only constant TV. There was a TV series about a year ago, but mm-hmm. it was canceled after like one season. So as far as Constantine is one of the lesser used characters. So for fans of like old DC characters, I definitely think that it's a classic that needs to, that people need to know about. Cool. Awesome. All right. The movie's called Constantine. It stars Keanu Reeves and you can find it on DVD. Coming up after the break, Mike and I are going to talk about one of the hottest new movies out right now. It's Spider-Man Homecoming. We'll review it next on KWOC.